Hi everyone. In January of 2022, El Shabaab terrorists from Somalia came and knocked on homes in Limu County, Kenya. If the men of the household had a Christian name, they were instantly killed in front of their families. Six women became widows that day. We went to you and raised up help for these women so they could start their own businesses to take care of themselves and their children. Helping these women took lots of time. It was not overnight. We trained them in finances and business principles before we gave them what they needed to start their businesses. Lydia and Martin were our two key people who worked with the widows. Lydia just returned from a trip after visiting them to see how they were doing. I wanted you to hear her testimony. It is so encouraging. Thank you to everyone who helped these widows. Lydia, I was so excited reading your report this week about your trip Amen. to the widows. Wow. Tell us about it. We what there were eight widows, is that correct? No, not eight. How many? Six. Six. Yeah. Six widows. We sent money to them to start businesses. You have followed up with them. You taught them how to use their finances, how to make a budget, how to use their money. And then we sent them money for their businesses. Tell us, how how did your visit go, your follow-up visit? Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, it has been a journey. And to be sincere, it's by God's grace and your support that we have managed to be where we are with the widows. Hallelujah. Uh, out of uh, where they were, I can start with the few who are not even in the legal businesses. They were doing legal businesses with their husbands. And uh, it was like a new dawn after the death of their husbands because most of them got born again. And apart from that, they started now receiving and accepting Christ as their guide in their journey without their husbands. Amen. Amen. And uh, thank you so much for the financial literacy training that we did, because most of them in the businesses that they were doing with their husband, they were not the managers. Yes. Okay. They were only helpers or assisting their husbands in the businesses. Mm -hmm. So these but were two... We did that, these were two women who uh, were selling liquor and actually pretty much addicted to alcohol, as I re recall. You've led them to Christ. What businesses have they started? One of them by the name Sidi Gona started the fish business. She's located in Wito, which is still in Lamb County. And she's doing well with the business and even in serving Christ where she's fellowshipping. Wow. That is beautiful. Yes. Yeah. The other one is Sidi Karisa from Hidi. She's concentrating with the Omena business, but through your support, you are able to boost that business and start a little shop where she's selling other food stuffs like maize fra and uh, sugar and the like. And she's doing well and so much grateful for your support. And Lydia, is she the one that um, we were able to help build a little structure that she could sell her supplies there? Yes, Sidi Carissa from Hidi is the one that we supported to build the house because the initial house was leaking and it was not even safe for the business. Mm, okay, yeah, that makes sense if the product was getting wet from the rain would be terrible. Yeah, very true. And uh, she was so much grateful, more than words may express. And she has called me, I think it was yesterday, still expressing her gratitude because of what you've done to her. Amen. Praise, praise God for all the people that gave donations for these beautiful widows. Amen. We are so thankful for everyone that helped. Talk about the other four. What are the other four doing? Uh, the other four are still in little shop, apart from one by the name Grace, who is in Taylor Living Shop, and they are doing very well. I was so much blessed to hear none of their kid was at home because of lack of school fees. Wonderful. That's great news. 
they manage to save and uh, pay their school fees and they are doing well. We are grateful to God and we are grateful to you people. And uh, they are happy. They are happy. They are doing well. And Lydia, if I may interject, um, it's only been a year and two months since their husbands were killed. It was one year and two months ago. Yes. Yes. And I remember when they came to the women's conference that you held in April and I was able to be there and meet them. And they were so sad at the beginning, but God really ministered to them and they were rejoicing and praising him by the end of the conference. It was beautiful to see. I agree with you. I think even on the pictures that I posted recently, mm -hmm. most of them you can see their faces are full of smile and they are happy. Yes. And we are so grateful to God because they have learned that in the presence of God, there is joy. Amen. Amen. That's so beautiful. Lydia, how important do you think the financial seminar was in giving them the understanding of how to budget before they got their money? Save money too. Mm, I agree because most of them, as I had mentioned earlier, they were only there to be used by their husbands, not managing the businesses. So most of them, even in coming up with the risk of maybe these are the expenses of the budget, it was hard for them. But out of that, we were able to help them even work out just a simple budget they can understand in a layman's language, and they work with it. And to our surprise, when we passed through all of them, or most of them, they could tell you it was out of this saving, it was out of this, it was out of this that I have managed to pay the school fees. I'm still stocking back my business with whatever I'm getting from this and this. And I'm also happy because most of them, apart from the businesses, engaging or they are still doing farming, maize farming. Oh, wow. Okay. So they have their yeah. business and they're growing the corn, the maize. The maize. Yeah, exactly. So Good. in a way for their food, they are no longer going back to the business to get, you know, their food from there. Because that was one of the things that we were teaching them, that if you only get the money out of your business, it will be hard for you to be sustained. Yes. Yes. So Good. that was a plus. And thank God that I know uh, through the Unveiling Glory donation, their school fees were paid last year. But you said this year they were able to pay school fees themselves out of their businesses. That's amazing. Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. Praise so God. Is, are they safe? Is El Shabaab gone? It's not predictable. But currently, they're doing well without any fear of any attack. And we are praying that God will protect them. Because in case of anything, if there would be maybe either of the attack, the businesses might be affected as well. But currently, there's peace, and uh, they're, they're doing well. Well, Lydia, I know that you have to leave your children and go to these areas. It's usually a two-day trip. You went with Martin. That's a big investment of your own time. Thank you for helping these widows on behalf of Unveiling Glory. Thank you for your heart of compassion and your love for them, Lydia. It's just beautiful to see and to hear. And thank you for the dresses you send my wife. Yes, thank you for my dress. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Thank you so much for your support. May God bless you. God bless the donors. God bless your friends for being a blessing to these widows and putting a smile on their faces and hope in their lives. 